My name is Danny James and this is the Ambassador Pools Pool School Show Salt Edition. Now today we're going to be talking about a beautiful brand new kayak pool that we just put in and we're going to be going through a salt water system made by AquaCal. Now these systems get, are getting a lot more popular and part of the reason why they are getting popular is because they're much more maintenance free than any system out there. Now a lot of people don't realize that salt is actually the same thing as chlorine. It's just a much lower salinity chlorine and a much more natural way to make chlorine. And I'm going to take you through the very simple steps of setting this system up and what you have to do to maintain it. It's going to be a very short video because there's not a lot you have to do. So let's go. We're on the site of a brand new 16 by 32 award winning kayak pool. And the beautiful thing about this system is the customer decided to put a Pool Pilot Digital Nano Saltwater Generator. So the beautiful thing about this system is that it literally does everything for you and it's plug and play. And I'm going to explain what that means. So uh, this customer actually had the electrician hardwire in um, a 110 outlet, which is what you need for this. And then a 220 hookup because at some point he's planning on maybe doing a heater. Now there's two parts to this system. You have the computer itself, which tells you the temperature, the flow, uh, the rate of chlorination, and how much salt to put in the pool at any given time, which I'll show you. And then we have the salt cell, which I'll show you in a second. So when you first plug in the pool and you first run the pump or you first turn on the salt water generator, the first thing you're going to notice is that it says error, purify off, check flow. Now, if you're not physically running the pump, it's always going to say this because there's no water circulating through the system. And uh, don't worry if you see the red light flashing. Um, really the only thing you have to be worried about with this is if you have the pump on and it still says the same thing. So I'm gonna go turn the pump on and we're gonna see how this thing uh, reads the water and the amount of salt we have to read in. Okay, so right off the bat, you'll notice it says, Error, purify off, add salt, 324 pounds. So it's amazing how this system can actually read the exact amount of salt you need for the pool to the pound. And uh, again, if you have any question about how much salt to put in the pool, it's gonna tell you right on the screen when you initially plug the whole thing in. So when it comes to buying salt for your pool, I really highly recommend going to a hardware store, a Lowe's, a Home Depot, and buying 40 pound bags of salt. There's granular quick dissolve salt for pools specifically. And then there's also pellet salt that you can get for water softening for um, like septic tanks. And that stuff actually works just as well as the granular salt and can be a lot cheaper a lot of times. Pool stores will increase the, the price of salt just by putting pool salt on it. As long as you have salt and you put it in the pool, it's gonna work. So in this case, we have a 16 by 32, which is approximately uh, 12,000 gallons. And it's saying to add 324 pounds of salt. And in 40 pound bags, that equals eight bags of salt, would be 320 pounds of salt. So even though it says 324, 320 should be enough to get the job done. But it doesn't hurt to have another extra three or four bags in the garage, because in the years to come, depending on the environment, the amount of use you get out of the pool, at some point, uh, a year or two down the line, it's gonna ask you to add some more salt. So in a second, we're gonna show you the salt cell, which is where the magic happens, and the bags of salt, so you have an example of what to buy when you go to the store. So this is where the magic actually happens, and the way the process works is salt is sodium chloride, and there's an electrolysis process that happens here where it actually takes the chlorine out of the salt and exponentially puts it into the pool. The sun kind of dissolves the chlorine and then the salt cell makes the chlorine and just keeps it going throughout the season. So there's a couple things to talk about here. The first is the salt cell. Now this is the only thing you'll ever have to replace on this system down the line. And these salt cells can last anywhere from two to five years depending on how much you're running the pool. And again, other environmental factors like uh, trees and stuff that's getting in the pool because every house is gonna be different. Now, on this salt cell, you have a three prong plug and there's two prongs that need to be plugged in and there's three holes. I never really understood that, but all you need to know is that these two prongs have to plug into any of these two holes. 
doesn't matter which ones. Make sure it's nice and tight on there. Um, the installer should do that for you, but if it ever gets, gets loose, you know how to put it on. Now it also shows you the direction of the flow. And you can tell the water is coming out of the filter and flowing through this way. If you ever see the arrow going the wrong direction, it has been installed wrong. It does happen. Uh, installers are human too. They make mistakes. It's very rare, but it, on occasion I've seen it. Now down here we have the union screen. Now the union screen is just a last ditch effort to catch any debris before it can make it into the salt cell itself and damage anything. So if you're running the pool and the pump's on and you ever get an error check flow or uh, the flow is not working on the computer screen, the first thing you want to do is check this screen. Make sure you cut off the water in the ball valve on the other side, which we went through in a different video. And then it cuts the water off automatically on this spring-loaded check valve here, which is also clear so you can see what's going on with the flow. Um, you basically unscrew this union right here, and it definitely helps to have a pair of vice grips if you're going to do this, uh, not only for this, but any of the uh, couplings on the pool. And you unscrew it, the whole thing kind of tilts forward, and there's a little screen that's like a, a cup that you take out and get any debris out, put it back in, and you're good to go. And that's all there is to know. So this is a 40 pound bag of Morton's Professional Choice Pool Salt. It's literally no different, in my opinion, than a bag of Morton's Pellet Salt Water Softening Tablets or Pellets. Um, as long as it's salt, it'll do what it's supposed to. So basically what we want to do is take eight bags of this on a 1632 on a 1624, I think it's closer to six bags, but remember, it'll always tell you on the computer screen exactly how much salt to add. And we're gonna take it and cut it open. And the best way to do this is to just start to sprinkle it heavily all the way around the edge of the pool. And that should do it. After you put all bags of salt in the pool, start the system running, let it run for about 24 hours, and uh, you should immediately start to see results. And the computer should tell you just the temperature and um, the parts per, per million chlorination that's happening in the salt water generator. And uh, we're just gonna finish up by telling you a couple last things over by the computer. All right, so sometimes after the pool's installed, it can be anywhere from a week or two weeks till your electrician gets out here and the pool properly starts to get running. So you'll notice that uh, at this customer's house, if you take a look in the pool, there's a bunch of debris. It's early in the season here and there's stuff falling in the pool. The water is not crystal clear. It's starting to turn a little bit and the saltwater generator will absolutely do its job. But just to give it, give it a little boost, we're gonna add a few bags of shock. Now this happens to be my favorite shock in the world, HTH Super Shock. In fact, the one I really like is the HTH Step 3, which has some algicide and shock in it. Now all shock really, now all shock really is, is just concentrated chlorine. And anytime your salt water system is down or anytime you're noticing anything going on with the water, it's starting to turn a little off. It's always good to test your water, get the chlorine levels, and if they're low, add some shock. Because these saltwater generators, especially when, when it gets up to 100 degrees and higher, could use a little help with the chlorine sometimes on these bigger pools. So there's two different forms of shock. There's powdered shock and liquid shock. 
And what we have here is the powdered shuck. Now the powdered shuck is gonna come in these little one pound bags and it's granular chlorine, almost like table salt. And the thing you wanna be really careful of when you put this in the pool is never to just dump a pile right into the pool liner. Because if you do, the shock is gonna sit at the bottom of the liner and it's gonna bleach and potentially stain the liner. So what you wanna do is just kinda of sprinkle it around the pool, just like we did with the salt. Also be aware that chlorine is essentially the same thing as bleach. So if you have nice clothes on, be careful not to get it on yourself because you could potentially bleach your clothes. It also helps to start to sprinkle this a little bit right in front of the jet. And you'll notice the jet just kind of take it into the rest of the pool. But again, you just want to be careful not to pile it at the bottom in any spot because you'll get some stains and some bleach marks. All right, so now we've put our eight bags of salt in. I put three bags of shock in because this pool was sitting for about a week or two without any chlorination at all and the water was starting to turn just a little bit and that'll boost the chlorine up to the level to let the salt water generator kind of take over. Now you'll notice on the computer screen here, it says purifier 35%, 72 degrees. It doesn't say to add any more salt. The system automatically recognizes that you put all the salt in and the only thing you do here from now on is absolutely nothing. So people call us all the time really concerned that they're not doing enough for this pool because a lot of pools that they've owned in the past have been a ton of work and other saltwater generators work differently. The beautiful thing about the AquaCal and Tropical line and the Autopilot saltwater generator is it's a plug and play machine. You plug it in, it tells you how much salt to put in the pool and then you literally do nothing, it takes over. So you'll notice here it says purifier at 35%. It's really just reading that the pool is getting started. Uh, it's got a 35% starting point. That means out of its potential to make chlorine, it's only working at 35%. Over time, the computer will read the chemicals in the water and the temperature and it'll automatically adjust. Again, I do have some people that give us a call and they think they have to press buttons or you know, read the uh, user's manual, which definitely can help. But the only thing you have to do is put the salt in the pool, plug it in, turn the filter on, and let it run. Ideally, at a certain point, you wanna run the pump with this for about six hours a day, depending on how much you use the pool, or the minimum amount allowed to keep the water clean and to conserve electricity. It's really that simple and uh, it's the best saltwater generator in the world, in my opinion.